One of my biggest challenges is living in the present. Naturally, I worry a lot, and when I can't control a situation, I am disillusioned that by worrying, I gain back some of that control. It creates this false idea that worrying means I'm creating a backup plan or that I'm more ready for what's to come. If anything, though, worrying steals the joy out of our moments, even if we think that we're able to be prepared or ahead of the unknown. It's hard to bake something or accomplish what's in front of me if my head is somewhere else. So, tangible activities like baking requires my focus on one thing at a time. By living slowly and more intentionally, we are getting our brain to focus on the current. Living slowly has benefits of helping us focus better. And if you're also a worrier like me, I hope you find that slow living can help you worry and stress less. The gist of where the slow living movement originated is. It started in the 1980s when a group of Italian activists protested against the opening of a McDonald's to speak up for local and traditional food production over fast food. The slow movement also incorporates other aspects such as how we spend our money and our overall approach to everyday life. Have you ever noticed that being a hustler or working hard is a status symbol? But multitasking has been scientifically shown that it's not quite possible or beneficial when our attention is spread out across multiple things. When I was studying full time, I worked part time, and on top of that, I was volunteering. Plus, serving at my church on Sundays, Fridays, and sometimes even attending meetings in the middle of the week. If you also have been too busy for your own good at some point in your life, please like this video. I thought that this is what life is about, and laying down my life for others meant being generous with my time and fulfilling responsibilities that help people. Initially, I felt like my life was on the right track. Plus, it was nice to feel needed until I couldn't carry all of that anymore, and everything just felt meaningless because I wasn't tending to my own needs. For a long time, I didn't even have hobbies because my work was my hobby and my hobby was my work, and I didn't really make any free time for myself because I was constantly on a schedule and with people. When you live a busy life that revolves around others, often you slowly lose touch with yourself. Unfortunately, trying to be the hero of every situation takes away a lot from us. I don't mean to not try to be helpful, but not to the point where it becomes toxic. Living slowly is about living at a pace that allows you to be focused on what's important to you instead of doing everything at once. It's beneficial to us to take time away and evaluate our roles and responsibilities carefully. At first, it will feel painful because we feel obliged and we don't want to let people down. But in hindsight, this is a necessary step to take. Not just to acknowledge our unhealthy habits and hustle culture, but to finally break free from them. I have deleted multiple apps on my phone because I can't be bothered with checking all my accounts and getting distracted with notifications, all the while knowing I have tasks in front of me that I have been procrastinating on, like donating that pile of clothes in my closet. This excerpt is taken from Carl's book, In Praise of Slow. It is a cultural revolution against the notion that faster is always better. The slow philosophy is not about doing everything at a snail's pace. It's about seeking to do everything at the right speed, savoring the hours and minutes rather than just counting them. 
doing everything as well as possible instead of as fast as possible. It's about quality over quantity in everything from work to food to parenting. For more slow living and minimalism content, please check out my other videos to help you gain inspiration for simplifying your life. I hope you have a wonderful, slow, and meaningful day and that you give yourself a chance to prioritize what's truly important as a way to start living more intentionally.